here and welcome to Make a Difference, the show about how volunteers are making a difference right here in Montgomery County every day. I'm your host, Sandy Smith, and we welcome you here with us via Zoom due to the current pandemic crisis. January 18th is a day dedicated to service to others. This day is in celebration of the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., a man that literally gave his life in the service of others. Today, we are speaking with Melissa Jackson Cannon, Program Manager with the Montgomery County Volunteer Center. Welcome, Melissa. Thank you, thank you for having me. So you and I have worked together um, with a lot of the rest of the volunteer staff at the Volunteer Center yes. uh, for several years now on the MLK Day of Service. Uh, it is by far the largest event uh, for the Volunteer Center for the year, of the year. Absolutely. Uh, tell me, what does MLK Day of Service look like during COVID? So as we certainly know, things will look a little bit different this year. Um, in the past, as, as you said, Sandy, it's been a huge event. We've had thousands of people come to the Marriott and other partner sites around the county. This year, since we're all at home and socially distanced, we wanted to still be able to provide volunteers and community members around the county the opportunity to volunteer and provide service for um, their fellow county. So in, in that, we have several virtual opportunities, home base, we have donation options, we have um, just different things you can do at home, but still do some good around the county. So um, with that, with our virtual options, we have some Amazon wish list donations where you can benefit um, anyone from the, the county hubs with food donations to comfort cases with which uh, who provide backpacks um, and supplies for foster children to still doing our very ever popular uh, police no so police blankets for the hospice we'll be sending those to people's homes so they can do that um, as well as writing letters like Valentine's for the military and other folks. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, I, I believe that I read somewhere that the day of service is actually not going to be a day of service, but a week of service. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, usually we are, are, are stuck to that one day, those two hours. But now since we're home, um, one small perk is that we can extend it and let people kind of work with it around their own schedule. So it'll, be go, it'll go from Saturday, January 16th through Sunday, January 24th with MLK, of course, being on the 18th. So volunteers will have the opportunity to see what they want to do, complete it at home um, in the morning, evening, whenever they would like to, and then um, deliver their projects if that's the direction of that project um, on their own schedule throughout that week. Well, that sounds fantastic. I mean, maybe going forward, we may want to consider having the one physical day and then maybe virtually being able to extend it because I feel like that opens up a lot of opportunities for people that maybe can't just do that one day. That's, that's so true. Um, one consistent piece of feedback we get every year is that people love it so much they want it to be more than two hours, yes. especially with all those people in, uh, usually in the hotel, um, people really want more. They want to do more. They want to be able to do it longer, do more projects. And so hopefully this may lead to um, a nice expansion that we continue. Wonderful. So now I know that this is the MLK Day of Service is usually a big draw for high school seniors as well as um, other uh, ages, of course, um, but parents. How are they going to go about fulfilling their SSL hours? I mean, that's, uh, I don't know. How does that work? That's a great question and one we've gotten quite a bit. Um, so while our, our various um, opportunities that we have available, the, especially the home-based, craft-based projects, um, those will have SSL hours assigned to them. But we are also, for the, for the first time with MLK, creating a, a special project or opportunity just for our Montgomery County public school students. And so with that, we'll have a whole uh, video-based presentation to view, answer questions, and get those SSL hours in. And like I said, the other projects that we'll have, and they'll be clearly labeled on the website, which ones um, they can get SSL hours for and for how many hours they'll get for each one. So finally, um, what is the timeline for volunteers to sign up and how do they go about doing it? So all opportunities will be live by January 4th. And so we'll be updating the website between now and then, um, but you'll be able to go on to the website and sign up for, for projects and opportunities 
starting January 4th and then through the 16th through the week of MLK. Um, certain projects will have capacity limits just due to supplies that we'll be mailing out and needing that time frame. Um, but many of them can be, you know, infinite amounts. So we'll, we can get as many volunteers as, as we want um, who wanted to write letters and do other things. And so we'll be able to sign up starting January 4th um, and go from there. Well, the great thing about being virtual is that there is an unlimited amount of people and a lot of unlimited amount of space. So unlike <laughs> actually being physically at the hotel, everyone can attend. Absolutely, exactly. What will we hope to still get all of our families that we usually get, plus other people who may not um, come to the Marriott for various reasons, whether they're just by, their, by themselves and they'd wanna come by themselves or for their age or abilities or anything. So this way people can do everything from home. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get a lot more uh, participants this year. Great, thank you, Melissa. Thank you. We've been speaking with Melissa Jackson Cannon. Thank you for joining us today, Melissa. Thank you for having me. We'd like for you to pay tribute to the namesake of this special day by helping another. If you're interested in volunteer opportunities, please go to our website, montgomeryserves.org. When we return, we will be welcoming Jim Stowe, the director of the Montgomery County Office of Human Rights. Roll over. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. And your mother. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Today we will be speaking with Jim Stowe, Director of the Montgomery County Office of Human Rights. Welcome, Jim. Thank you so much, Sandy. Pleased to be here this afternoon. We are glad to have you. To begin with, Jim, um, tell us about the Montgomery County MLK celebration. Well, we're very excited about it, number one. is This year, of course, uh, it's been a very tumultuous year for our country and indeed around the world. And so we believe that the uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday uh, celebration and observance would be a way to sort of kick off to a fresh, fresh start for not only our community, but the entire uh, region. And so we're very excited about that. Coming up on January the 18th this year. Yes. Uh, 2021, can you believe that? It's unbelievable. We'll be having then uh, this special occasion. Our theme this year is um, in his and their own words, reflecting on the past while forecasting the future. Uh, and Senator, what we're trying to do is to really begin to, to say to ourselves, how do we see ourselves? How Dr. King saw these same situations and circumstances that have occurred over the past year. And here's a twist this year. We're gonna be asking our young people, our students, what they believe, in fact, in their own words, as they describe what happened in this past year as well, from their perspective. And we're very excited to see uh, what they might end up saying. So we'll have then on the one hand, Dr. King's words that were actually forecasting the future as it were, uh, and then our young people today, looking at their reality and also forecasting the future as well. And so we're excited about this concept and look forward to the program again, January 18th, uh, 2021. Uh, this year, however, as you know, will be a virtual program as many things are happening uh, at this time. Uh, and so we too will be, a, be doing a virtual program uh, this year as well. Um, but look forward to a very exciting program. Again, our theme this year is, in his and their own words, reflecting on the past while forecasting the future. I think that's wonderful. And so uh, you're trying to really reach out to the young people. And what was the, the basis for this, this theme? What, how did you come up with that? Well, the one thing we kept thinking about was what would be relevant to the current times. And we we're always trying to find ways to involve our young people in this community, in this very special program. And so we saw that in the streets all across America, and indeed around the world, uh, in the streets were our young people. Yes. Uh, they were not only college students, but they also were high school students, and even and, and, uh, the elementary grades were also involved as well. And so clearly they have something to say. Uh, and I think that for our perspective, our whole planning committee, uh, we want to make real sure that we, in fact, offer an opportunity for that voice to be heard in Montgomery County. And so this is our way of trying to put forth that opportunity and provide that platform for our young people. 
I think that's wonderful and I think it's necessary because I think that a lot of times our young people don't feel like they have a platform. They don't feel like adults are listening. Uh, so I think this is wonderful. How do they go about getting involved? How do they, what's the method that they use to, to, to become involved? How do they well, do this? Well, in this year's program, uh, one of our partners has always been Montgomery County Public Schools, and we certainly reach out to all schools within Montgomery County as well. Uh, but we'll be having a contest. And that oh. contest will be then to have our young people then do what uh, uh, our uh, producer has done. Uh, Kimberly Hodges is our producer and has been for the last several years, has an, always does an outstanding job for us. But we're working with the schools and having our young people write letters to Dr. King. And so these letters will be then, Dear Dr. King. And they're going to address uh, four major issues. Uh, one that will deal with the issue of protest. Uh, one will deal with the issue of equality, the right to vote, and also the issue of unity as a community. And so we're asking our students to take a topic that, that might be of importance to them uh, and write a letter. And those letters are going to be the response, the words, if, if you were, as it were, uh, in terms of their words. Uh, as opposed to Dr. King's words about what's going on right now within those four topic areas. And so we're very excited about what they have to say again, as I mentioned, uh, uh, and I believe that they've got uh, some really insightful things to offer to all of us. Uh, and so uh, we'll pick then the best four uh, in those given categories. And those four young people will actually be in our program and they'll oh, actually read their letter. So we're very excited about that. Uh, for those who, in fact, uh, uh, may not have the connection with Montgomery County Public Schools, we will then have information on our website, uh, which is uh, www.montgomerycountymd.gov forward slash human rights. And they'll be able to get information there about how to become a part of this if they happen not to be a student attending Montgomery County Public Schools. Each year, as a matter of fact, we, in fact, have segments where we do, in fact, provide entertainment as part of the storytelling oh. of our actual theme. Uh, and this year, we certainly don't want to miss out on the fact that we have confirmed uh, Marcus Johnson, uh, who is a well-renowned jazz musician uh, from Montgomery County. Oh, wow. Uh, for our public schools. And so he has agreed to, to be our special guest this year uh, in this uh, environment where we'll be doing the virtual broadcast. We will be utilizing Zoom and utilizing all forms of social media. We'll be doing some live streaming of the uh, program as well. So we're gonna use every avenue possible to make real sure that this program is available to our entire community. So certainly on, on our uh, cable channels that are part of our government system would be part of this production as well. Uh, and then those who may come along and, and be uh, partners of ours have agreed also to put it on their websites. Uh, and also streaming through those particular vehicles as well. So we're going to have a lot of opportunities for persons really to see this program. And a good thing about this virtual world, Sandy, is that we can actually reach more people yes. that might come out to a building or to a venue or to see a program. So we're excited about that potential and that opportunity to really tell the story about Dr. King to many, many more people. We're looking forward to a great opportunity to reconnect. And if nothing else, what we do every third Monday in January, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to carry it throughout the year, but at least every third Monday in January, we do take time out as a nation to reflect. And so when we do at least some reflection, that does allow us again at least to think and at least to pause and maybe consider our next step. And if I get you to, if I get you to at least consider your next step, I got a chance then to have you modify it if in fact it's going to be something negative. And so I look forward then to having people then reconnect, focus, reconsider, and pause, and hopefully take the corrective action we need to. We've been speaking with Jim Stowe. Thanks for joining us today. And let's make Dr. King proud by continuing his legacy of service to others. Thank you for joining us, Jim. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. If you're interested in volunteer opportunities, please go to our website, montgomeryserves.org. I'm your host, Sandy Smith. Thank you for joining us, and let's be sure to make a difference.